Hello everyone, this is Dr. Akin Marino. How are you today? I want to check in and make sure everyone is doing okay. Um, also, for the next seven weeks, I'm going to be talking about restoration and um, recovery. And so, hope you will stay with me. Uh, each week, I would release one of these videos. But today's introduction, uh, we cannot deny that we live in unprecedented times. We have developed new vocabulary of, of apartness, and yet the longings of our heart is for each other. We want to be connected. People are home now when, you know, you haven't really been home in a while. You, uh, you and your spouse probably work, you know, and uh, the most unstable unit on the face of the universe is a dyad. It's two people, you know, and, but the most stable is a triangle, which is why, you know, sometimes it's a husband, wife, and then the children will triangulate it, or it's a husband, wife, and then job will triangulate it. It's a husband and wife, somebody else will triangulate it because the emotions of facing each other is can somebody, some, well, sometimes be overwhelming. Well, here you are. You are there together, you know. And so people are experiencing all kinds of emotions at this time. And um, at the end of the day, you know, some people are waiting for this moment to be over so that they can get on with their lives. But I've, like I've said, if you've followed me, I've said that if we have that attitude, if we hold on to a temporary reprieve and feel as if this moment is is just to to hunker down and and wait till thing you know hunker down and wait till things you know blow over then we would have missed it because this moment is not so much about about waiting is about healing is about recovery is about getting rediscovery of who we are as a people of who we are as as individuals and who we are as as um connected connect as family does that make sense and so in this next seven weeks we're gonna we're gonna examine the self we want to talk about you know all we want to strip away all of the facade and all of the layers of of just you know untruths and lies that we've told ourselves you know how many times have you read on on social media things like you know you don't need that person you know if they're not adding value to your life drop them if they're not doing this stay away from them you know at some point i just thought if we keep losing people if we keep just you know getting rid of people in our lives what's gonna happen like at, this, at some point, you're just going to be alone, you know, and, but I'm not surprised. Those things um, happen because people have been hurt, people have been wounded, and so they have little tolerance for for others, uh, little tolerance for, for other weaknesses, and little, little tolerance for um, imperfections. And so sometimes when you've been wounded and when you've been, when you've been bruised and battered and you now all of a sudden feel a little bit better, you're like, you know, I don't want, mm -mm -mm, I cannot deal with that. So you're just, just, you know, go on, <laughs> you know, but um, the next few weeks, we're going to talk about a few of those things at the core of, uh, at the core of all of this analysis are wounded people who cannot afford to be hurt again. So yeah, so we get it. But what if this moment is about you getting to the core of you and rediscovering that person who is not so um, fragile, who who is who has enough strength to withstand, you know, adversity. What if you you can get to the core of the strength and the tenacity and the resiliency inside you? What if this moment is about that? What if this is the moment? So. We're going to look at self-awareness. We want to look at our ourself as, as ourself as a as a sum total of who we are, personally, individually, separately. Um, 
you know so when i ask who are you what is the self you know people have tried to answer this question for ages you know, what is the self uh, i'm not asking for a, a, some ready-made answer for you what does that mean you know too often we stumble through life and take a shallow view of ourselves because if you really know the components of you maybe some things will be different uh, so too often we, we 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 think we're just as emotional beings or we we're just mental beings or we're just spiritual beings uh, and and we, we we don't understand that we are some total of all of those things and when we take a shallow view of ourselves and our environment and and the and prevailing forces begin to to impact us and and yet we can do better in this moment we can be better our first step is to become aware of who we are and what we are and so that's what i want i want us to begin to focus on uh when what what is self what is self no answer will be completely accurate precisely precisely at all times uh but we have some things that we can look at you know the self is a part of ourselves that we're referring to that we refer to when we say i or when we say i am you know i am feeling i am thinking that is part of yourself i am thinking i am this and so that is who you are uh one helpful way to think about the self and become more aware of our completeness and total self is to divide it up into four parts you know i know in the christian in in, uh, in the christian um in the christian world we say we're three part beings we're spirit we're soul and we're body you know this time i want to split some things up a little bit we're going to look at four parts of you we're going to look at the physical self we're going to look at the emotional self we'll look at the mental self and we'll look at the spiritual self is that okay all right and so uh let's start with the physical self this is probably the most obvious aspect of oneself our physical bodies the awareness of our bodies when that body is in the is in great pain or in distress you know we it, it it's it's val it's valid we 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 hurt we you stomp your toe you're going to say ouch you know but when we feel physically neutral or when we feel good about ourselves and when there's no pain you know we can block the awareness of our physicality and begin to look at some of the other complex selves you know we start thinking more about our spiritual lives our thought lives but when you're in physical pain i always say that 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 um sickness is the is is selfish um and what i mean by that is when you're ill and when you're when you're when you're sick you cannot think of anything else but getting better you that's all you think about you know it's a selfishness not because you want to be but that's what it takes for you to be to 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 be well and so uh, we have to try all we can to prevent illnesses so that we can be whole complete and total does that make sense um, but when we feel when when we when when we feel physically fine we are able to explore other aspects and other areas of life it is important to remember that each level of self affects the other levels of self so if i'm feeling physically uncomfortable it would lead to the to me feeling emotionally uncomfortable as well as I'm, if i'm feeling emotionally uncomfortable is going to affect me physically you know when you're having bad thoughts sometimes you just don't want to do anything you physically you just sit there some people they actually have physical symptoms they start getting headaches and you start getting you know um heart palpitations and things like that happens uh it is important to know that we have to examine our physical selves um so that we recognize what is going on with us it is important it is vital the second part that we want to look at is the emotional self now we're going to go back um and and you know flesh out annotate the physical self and each one of this of the selves but today is i'm pretty much doing a general overview so the emotional self 
um, is being aware of oneself on an emotional level means that we're being aware of one's emotions. Emotions are powerful, they're vital. And sometimes, you know, people, people, we say people get overly emotional. We, we don't want to really recognize emotions because we've been hurt. And sometimes we don't even know if we can trust those emotions because we, we don't know if, because your thought impacts your emotions. And so if I'm not thinking right, then is my, are my emotions really okay? Can I trust them? Maybe this moment is about us being able to get to the point where we can now trust our emotions. You, you understand what I'm saying? Um, so the next one is a mental self. The mental self is the aspect that talks about your thought life and your imagination. Your thought and your imagination. Like the physical and emotional feelings, thoughts also have the capacity to come upon us without our control. We can think in words, we can think in sentences, but we can also think in images. And sometimes those thoughts come and, you know, you didn't ask them to come. They come and and, and we, the way we react to them, we, we have something called ants, you know, automatic, automatic negative thoughts, you know, automatic negative thoughts. They're ants and they crawl in your brain and they're all over you know, and uh, instead of you can't even think of positive things because the first thing you think about is, is negative, you know, um, they're distorted and sometimes they don't accurately reflect uh, reality. And we have to look at those things now. You know, we have to in this moment pause and say, I'm not, I need to heal. I need to be okay. I need to take care of myself. I need to get back to the beauty of who I am, to that person who is tenacious, that person who is so resilient, to that person who is full of wisdom and, and grace. Maybe that's this what this moment is about. And, uh, and the final one is the spiritual self. You know, the spiritual self is about transcendence. There's research that supports this. There's research that tells us that people who practice spirituality, uh, they're healthier. They, they have, you know, high levels of life satisfaction. It's about creating a, 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 a larger context for yourself that transcends the material, your material experience. The, the way I describe that is, you know, I, I am adding an expense, a space. I'm adding more to my life when I'm spiritual because we all inhabit this material world. This is where we are. This is all we all have. But spirituality is taking, is going beyond this context, is going beyond what we have and going into another level of hope, another level of faith, another level of, 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 of joy that maybe it's not offered in this level as we know it. And so spirituality is important and we have to say, how is your spiritual self? How is that? How is that going? How are you navigating it? You know, how are you, how, how are you connecting in, in, in your humanity? Because that is also part of spirituality. So we are going to examine all of this in the, in the coming weeks. But I just want you to think about it before I come next week and I talk about, you know, uh, the physical self. We're going to talk about uh, how to take care of the physical self. We're going to talk about the different aspects of recovery. Re because once you, sometimes when you take care of the physical self, it actually helps you heal the other parts of you. you know, sometimes we, fo we focus so much on a mind and a mind and a mind. And sometimes if you can take care of the physical, the mind will heal itself. And so, how are you doing? Take some time out and think of those four parts of you. And let me know how you're doing, how you're faring. You know, send me a text, send me an email. At Eki Marino, you can find me at, um, I guess you can, you can find me at info at ikmarino.com. You can email me there. You can get my, note, my, my phone number on Facebook or on Instagram or Twitter. Till we meet again. Shalom.